So now she has to deal with either me or Stan. Yep. Go. Good girl. Oh yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, that's that wedge. See look. Uh-huh. See all of a sudden she has to do some work. And she's lost her motivation. Yeah. She doesn't know how to bite hard yet, people, which is a good thing for being honest. Because she also ain't all there. But she's been on the wedge before, so she'll get a little bit more encouraged. Slowly but surely. And she's a light dog, so you don't feel like you're breaking your back. Trying an ego, it'd be like shot put. You got to do like this. Drop a foot, rotate, spin. <laughs> and get him going. Good girl, cha-cha. We're actually going to see what we can get Cha Cha to do on these pillows. Now, the most inspiring pillow out of all of these is Advanced God Mode Pillow. That level 9000, the original Dragon Ball Z requirement for greatness when Vegeta yells 9000. So, Cha Cha, she sees the pillow, she's already playing with it. But, we told you the importance of being the most interesting thing in the world, right? So let's see what happens if myself or Stan picks up a pillow. Stan, grab, grab that wedge. Cha Cha! <laughs> Cha -cha. Yes, girl. Oh, I guess she wanted easy. Mm -hmm. But that's when she usually plays with, right? Uh, she sees Ego and Tron on. Yeah, yeah, she does see, so it's good. Cha cha. We go with what familiar. I wonder what they get out of that biting, bro. You know what's crazy? Because they pass his teeth at stage, so you say, why is that dog just terrorizing that pill like it did something to him? <laughs> well, I mean, that's what they would do if they caught something. <laughs> hey. That prey drive. Hey. And I pray no one has to activate the drive mode. <laughs> uh, she's kicked in the drive. Uh, go, get out of here. <laughs> Out. That's when you do like this. That's when the backpack come in handy. Put the little pillow in here. So now she has to deal with either me or Stan. Yep. Back go. Good girl. Oh yeah. See. <laughs> yeah, that's that wedge. See, look. Uh huh. See, all of a sudden she has to do some work, and she's lost her motivation. Yeah. She doesn't know how to bite hard yet, people. Which is a good thing for being honest, because she also ain't all there. But. She's been on the wedge before, so she'll get a little bit more encouraged, slowly but surely. And she's a light dog, so you don't feel like you're breaking your back. Trying an ego, it'd be like shot put. You got to do like this. Drop a foot, rotate, spin. <laughs> and get him going. Good girl, cha-cha. Now, Stan, when do you know to get her off of this particular pillow, be it she starts, you know, getting more motivated? And when do you switch? Um, once she gets loves that pillow like she did that other one, I would start moving it up. And then that would kind of be the only thing that she gets to bite on. And if she doesn't bite and play with that, she doesn't get to play. That's fair. So guys, you reward them based off the creating an expectation. The expectation is, hey, I expect you to get better. This pillow requires way more biting power uh, than the wedge, right? Yeah, she has to open her mouth pretty wide and then hold it. So it's just like basically like this. There you go. Cha-cha! There you go. So you see she, she bit and then uh, came right off. She's looking, look, she's looking for the easy way out. So this is the prime example of a dog, again, who lacks motivation at times, doesn't like to work as hard, and just needs a little bit more encouragement. Um, time, energy, and effort. Watch that, uh, watch that amp out behind you, Stan. Well, she's coming right along. So she's one of the dogs where you say, man, I'd love to see all the other thing, but it's not realistic. It's not. You say, okay, we got her to do this and that, and then we got her out here. Once she goes, mm -hmm. yeah, let her win. But you see even there, she didn't have a good bite. You see the bottom of it? Yeah. She's not going how she should. She's trying to get the easy way. <laughs> so I'm trying to like work it the wedge in her mouth. But we'll probably just have to start over. Yeah. And do it again. Cha -cha. Out. Out. Drop it. <laughs> Drop it. He's a good baby. So now, so now I'm gonna have the wedge down. Let her catch her breath for a second. 
fake that wedge so she when she jumps up she's gonna get that versus coming out up under the bottom so that's a little better there but you'll see she'll start working herself and try to get under it there we go yes cha cha so now we can spin her and have some fun Woohoo! <laughs> That's what we're looking for. So then a dog like this, we would motivate her, or we would take it, tease her up, tease her up, and then put her up so she knows that that's what she's working for now. So should we hang this in the street now, let her finish off there? I'll try. See if she will. Don't get her off of that. Cha-cha now, y'all. <laughs> Guys, y'all don't understand. These dogs ain't got good sense. I gotta work on my communication. Cha Cha's got a little, little she a little boingy, but she ain't like bizoing. It's more like she be surprising us though. She does surprise us. Cause she'll do some things you didn't expect her to do. Uh, Let's no, go, Cha Cha. That's a what, on a six? Yeah, no, it's right there, bro. Boy. Oh yeah, she ain't got no boingers. She jumping high for a little a little person. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if she get her. I'll drop it some. Drop it, drop it in the Hold it real quick. So when you're trying to hold the dog back in situations like this, if you get their flanks, you're not gonna be choking them out. Cause if I'm holding her by right here, she's gonna be pulling. Now she's losing that air. So we're gonna come home hold her here and then you have control of the dog's body and this gives her a chance to ready let's go work yep where's it at <laughs> the shot shot's a fun one too people Let's go. Oh! Don't be a bum. Oh. Ready? Let's go, bum. Work. There it is. There we go. There we go. I don't know who it is. It's like you're falling. She don't know what to do. Like, Where am I falling? <laughs> That's that spin cycle. Spinny, spinny, spinny. Work, work, work. We're going back. Lead it, lead it, lead it. She's on a mission. That's the helicopter boy. <laughs> Come like, on, If I swing racer. hard enough, I can get it. I can get it down. Yeah, cha. Yeah, cha. Yeah, cha. Now, people, again, slow progress is good progress because it'll last a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. She is literally like a ballerina. I know. Oh this can turn into a thing. Mark's getting all that good content right uh -huh. there. Isn't it? Dude, that's amazing. This is a cha 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 cha. Cha cha now, y'all. Uh huh. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what she's doing. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do, do. Come on, cha. Come on, cha. Come on, cha. She is spinning on, so hard, bro. That's a dog falling in this guy. <laughs> Look in the what? <laughs> what in the. Oh, you know, this, this is captivating us because we don't know what's happening. Oh, it's entertainment. Pure entertainment. Oh, man. And again, if you want your dogs to get to this level, start slow and build their confidence up. Man, I say, and just take care of the dog, people. I know it sounds crazy, <laughs> <laughs> but it is that simple. Hey, man, I think having fun is a big key component, too. Yeah, if you're not having fun with it, man, I mean, keep in mind, you got to come out here and walk, like, really work the dog for a second. Sheesh. This is nuts. This is nuts. You got to look. Guys, so we walked you through another episode. It's exactly start to finish. What's the best pillow? How to keep it, you know. And we showed you a dog that doesn't have ego and trot determination. Now, she gets pretty determined at times, but she literally still doesn't know what's going on. Those were steps that I missed early on with Cha Cha, to be clear. Because when we lean into that eight and six month range, boom, I didn't start her on half the stuff. So she was almost eight, nine months. And then she activated. 
And those are those moments where you see her jump on the tire and get out to say, he's like, oh, snap. Cause she's thinking, she's smart, she's willing to try, but I just didn't pour enough into her, that's the truth. So even seeing a little stuff we see now, man, it's encouraging because again, I can quantify, you know, breeding her and making better dogs um, at some point. But again, I ain't in no rush, people. But with the bullies, you do have to wait a little bit for them to mature. So like yeah. Hero, I hadn't really been doing a lot with him. And then the other day I got him out, he's hitting the bike pillow now. And he's probably about eight, nine months. And we hadn't done a lot about it early because he just didn't care. So ah. now he's getting to the point where he care and we finna start doing some more with Hero. You know what I'm saying? Because a hero will save us. Oh man. We gonna take him to karaoke night. <laughs> <laughs> she bang, she bang. Ooh, baby, she move, she move. My love going bang, bang, bang. You better. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>